Good morning and welcome to your Wednesday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum. Seems kind of dark today. I don't know why it looks so dark to me. Anywho, doesn't matter because you can hear me and we'll do our card for meditation today. And we have some good stuff for today, so this will be awesome. So I'm just going to give it a minute while some of you find me and pop on. But let's do some nice deep belly breaths. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Carolyn, glad you're here. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Looks like someone else is here. Welcome. In through the nose. It's Gwen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Out through the mouth. Just settling in. Keep breathing right here, right now. Drawing your attention back to this. Being fully present. Be here now. We're just going to get in a nice focused state. Thank you for the rainbow hearts. They are very pretty. Um, nice focus state so that the words that I'm going to give to you settle in on whatever le level they're meant to settle. And the deck for today is actually the Caroline Meese deck, Wisdom for Healing. And the subtitle is 50 Lessons in Personal Empowerment. And of course, given that I have empowerment coaching, you know that that word is one of my faves. So we are going to... Um, do the card, but before that, I want to actually read um, part of the her introduction to the cards, her dear friend letter, basically. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Carolyn Meese, she is a medical intuitive. So when people have things going on for themselves physically that either doctors can't figure out or nothing's getting better, etc. Good morning, Cindy. Oh, it looks like a couple others of you popped in. Good morning, Judy. Welcome, welcome. And whoever else snuck past me, I'm glad you're here. Um, but she oftentimes then gets called in to discern what's going on such that, oh, maybe this is part of it. Hang on a second. That helps. My uh, background on my computer screen was a dark background, so now I made it a light background. That helped a little bit. So, um, But I want to read her dear friend portion of this card deck because I think it lays... Beautiful groundwork, not just for the card we're going to do today, but for life in general. So here's Caroline Meese. Dear friend, healing is more than confronting the challenge of an illness. The wise approach is to realize that it's a lifestyle requiring constant attention to the well-being of your mind, body, and spirit. Of all the many factors that healing and living a healthy life require, becoming an empowered individual is the most important. That's also the most difficult. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? Illness often forces you to begin the journey of personal empowerment, as do loss, loneliness, and other life crises. It's very difficult to know where and when to begin that quest, which is why I created these cards. Personal empowerment begins with small choices that set enormous changes into motion. How many times have we talked about that, right? You do your one degree of change and the tra to trajectory is totally changed for your life. This happens because what each small choice symbolizes at the level of personal power, to change one small habit, for example, is to bring an entirely different flow of energy and thus power into your life. It's like you're changing the station on a radio you're going to get an entirely different type of music or talk radio or whatever it is. You're not still in that past stream. You've created a whole new stream. That energy, in turn, adds to the quality of thoughts and inspiration in your mind, body, and spirit, allowing for a different current of data or a different current of ideas and creativity. One positive action can create an entirely new life. Good morning, Susie. Glad you heard that. One positive action can create an entirely new life. And if you look back on your life, are there not those pivotal points where you did this instead of that? You married this person instead of that person. You chose this degree to obtain instead of that one. You took this class instead of that class. You went left instead of right, and an entirely different future began to unfold. 
These cards were created for repeated use as the task of keeping healthy on a physical, spiritual, and emotional level is lifelong. Enjoy and God bless. Caroline Meese. So, I'm going to show you the cover of the cards again. Here we are, watering our choices, making our choices. The ones that are going to lead us down that new path, set off new energy flow. Isn't that pretty cool? Yes, thank you, Cindy. Thank you. One positive action can create an entirely new life. Isn't that empowering? Isn't that empowering? So here's our card for today. Become better. And there she sits on the swing in the cosmos. <laughs> Love it. All right, so here it is. A couple of nice deep breaths. <sighs> because I can already hear some yeah buts and what ifs. Keep breathing. Today's lesson. I'm going to read through it first, and then we're going to go back and do a little bit with each piece. Discover one thing that would make you better and more empowered at what you do and who you are, and make it part of your routine. If this is difficult, identify why becoming better is something you wouldn't want to do. Your goal, to recognize how and why you sabotage your empowerment. Good morning, Linda. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Now that's a whole lot packed in one little card, right? So let's parse it out a bit. First, let's start with discover one thing that would make you better and more empowered at what you do and who you are. Okay, so I want you to just close your eyes. Do some nice deep belly breaths. And I want you to go within. I want you to go within to that still inner place. That quiet place that holds your Spirit, your soul, your wisdom, just go within. And if you're going to say, yeah, Bonnie, but all I hear there is crickets. No worries. No worries. The universe may be seeing. Are you really ready to hear me? Are you really ready to listen, to pay attention, to make some little changes? Again, she's not talking leaps and bounds. She's talking little fundamental changes that are going to make a difference, right? So I want you to ask within, what is one small, tiny change to my daily routine that I can make that's going to make a difference? And listen. And if you'd like to put it into the feed, what you got, that'd be awesome. It could be as simple as drink more water. It could be as simple as make one phone call a day. Those phone calls we're putting off. Good morning, Lucy. We're just doing a little guided imagery. So just asking within, what is one small, teeny, tiny change I can make to my daily routine that will make a difference? And again, once you have your answer, if you want to put it into the feed, fabulous. If you rather just move forward with it the way we are, let's do that. So again, the question was, what's one small, little change I can make to my daily routine that's going to make a difference? Second step is make it part of your daily routine. <laughs> so what I tell clients with regard to that is... Um, Link it up with something you already do. Link it up with something you already do. So Cindy says move more. Fabulous. So where in your daily routine could you put more movement that it flows in that routine easily? It, I'm going to make stuff up here. But it could be I get up, I, I brush my teeth, I put on my walking shoes, and I go first thing. Then I come back and have my coffee. Then I come back and have my coffee. Lucy's is going within. All right, so when would be a good time to do that? It could be as simple as when I'm standing there looking in the mirror, brushing my teeth, I'm going to go within. When I'm in my car sitting at a stoplight, I'm going to go within. When I'm waiting for the dog to do his business, I'm going to go within. When are you going to fit it into your, your daily routine? Let's see where people are going to put things. Where do you want to put it? Where is it going to be certain to happen? It could be I'm going to do it over my lunch hour. Instead of sitting there eating a bunch of junk at my desk, working, continuing to work, 
I'm going to get up and go sit outside, or I'm going to go walk around the building, or I'm going to, whatever it's going to be. But the first thing is figuring out what is one small, tiny change to your daily routine that's going to make, yield big results down the road. And then make it part of your routine. Where are you going to put that in your routine? Now, here's our resistance part. Here's if you had some yeah buts and what ifs, here's where we're going to address them, okay? So, if you have a yeah but or a what if, what, why is becoming better something you wouldn't want to do? Well, if I uh, drink more water, then I'm going to have to go to the bathroom all the time. If I spend time going within, what if I don't like what I hear? If I'm going to move more, um, am I going to lose my excuse for not doing other things? Um, I'm just making stuff up here. But answer the question, why might you not want to do this? There's Lucy's. While preparing food, I will go within. Fabulous. Fabulous. And again, if there's any resistance to that, ask that resistance to take a voice. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to make this change because. What's there? Oftentimes, it can be something totally weird, inane, whatever. Um, but until we speak it out loud or we make it conscious, it keeps operating. It keeps operating. So I'll give you one. Um, so if I take the time when I'm preparing food to go within, what if I find something horrible inside me? Like I'm a terrible, horrible, awful person. And if you say that out loud, you go, wait a minute. What the hell? Where'd that come from? It's old stuff. It's old stuff that's in there and is operational. Good morning, Peggy. Glad you're here. Um, is operational, but we don't ever speak it out loud, give it voice so that our ear can hear, what the hell is that? <laughs> because then we can do something with it, right? Okay, so whatever is your reason why you might not want to change this, remember our, our VAC worksheet that we've done repeatedly, um, what do you stand to lose? What are the negative outcomes, unwanted consequences, potential downsides of actually doing this thing? Pay attention to those because those are the things that are going to be the deal breakers. Those are going to be the things that are going to get in your way of making this particular change. All right? Again, as she says, your goal is to recognize how and why you sabotage your own empowerment. For people who've had a trauma history, for women who've had a trauma history and have that feeling of being prey, P-R-E-Y, Popping your head up out of the foxhole doesn't seem like a good idea. So, let's see. Try not to be annoyed by certain people. Change the way you look at things and those things change. Yes. Okay. So, annoyance. What I would like you to do with that one, Carolyn, is really get curious. Really get curious. What about that person moves me into annoyance? And what's the reflection in me? Okay? So, I'm just going to pick one. If I encounter someone who is way talkative, dominates the conversation, is bossy, it's all about her, blah, 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 I get irritated. Why is that? Because there's a part of that in me. So then I can take a look at when does that part in me tend to show up? It tends to show up when I'm not feeling heard. So then I can do something with that. I may call up my friend Kayleen and say, hey, I just need someone to listen to me for a while. Can you just listen? Or I'll contact my friend Bobby and say, hey, this coming Friday when it's my turn to receive for our exchange, I want to work on feeling heard. <laughs> so there's ways to take whatever you find there and turn it into those nuggets of gold that are going to move you forward. All right. Can you see how this is a pretty conscious process. We're making the choice to empower ourselves. We're making the choice to step forward in our lives. We're making the choice to challenge all the stuff that's been humming along subconsciously that we haven't paid attention to, that it's time to prick our ears up and go, wait a minute, that, that's, that's from when I was five. I'm ready to let that go. I'm ready to let that go. And then you have lots of options. You can do tapping on that. You can do breathing on that. 
You can do some journaling on that. There's a bazillion ways. Like one of mine is sitting right here on a little card. It's about showing up for me. Here it sits. So it's in front of me all the time. So I'll write about it when I, yeah, I got another piece of that I want to put on the page. Being conscious, living a conscious life, being aware of what we're doing, why we're doing it, deciding if we want to keep that behavior or change it. And again, these can be little bitty changes, little bitty changes. So I'll give you another one. Maybe before I go to bed, I play phone games instead of reading. That would be something that's pretty easy to change, to swap out, and to make a difference in the trajectory of my life, right? So that's it. That's our lesson for today. Become better. Tweaking one little thing in the service of empowering ourselves, all right? Now, I want to pitch something else out to you guys. Um, and maybe for some of you who are at more of a distance, it can be um, something to aspire to, a road trip, all right? So I have not done any workshops since I moved back to Appleton. I, I did a slew of them when I was in Michigan, but since I've moved back here, I haven't really done any. Well, I had rented for free, it's a beautiful community room, at um, Van Zeeland Nursery here in Appleton. And my intention when I rented it way back in like January, and this was the first Saturday I could get because there's, it's such a popular place to be, um, is I think it's June 24th. I think that's the date. Actually, I got my planner sitting right here. Let me look. June 24th, yes. And I had blocked it off from 10 to noon um, and it, with my intention being, I was going to do something with regard to my intentional community. But again, that path on my intentional community creation is changing. It's changing. So I've got some um, people who are going to walk the path with me, and it's going to change what this might look like a little bit. Awesome. But I mean, I don't need that room that day for um, an intentional community meeting. Instead, what I decided was I was going to offer a little two-hour workshop. And I came up with some things. I just threw them on the page. And then I asked two of my peeps, um, what would you want to have me offer? So I've got things like claiming your bold you, stepping into Wonder Woman. What's your battleground? In other words, um, food, body image, money, whatever. Everybody has a different battleground, right? And then what's the real issue and doing some work on addressing that? Figuring out your next steps on your path to life. Um, clearing your mental, emotional, spiritual clutter. There was a uh, money mindset. Um, and then there was one where I was talking with someone about stepping into bigness, stepping into empowerment, etc. And she made a comment about wondering what her big was. So I thought, what does my big look like, sound like, feel like? We could explore that for a couple of hours. So what grabs you? What are some other things that you'd be interested in me offering? And I contacted the young woman who manages that room and said, just want to know if I can add it like an hour on either end to make it like a three-hour workshop. And she said, she sent back a phone message and said, I've blocked you off for the whole day. You've got it for the whole day. So so 10 to 4. So I thought, fabulous. So I could do one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Two little three-hour workshops, etc. So give me some ideas. What would you like to come to? What would be um, something you want to learn about? What would be something you're ready to to explore? So pitch some things in the feed or send me a private message and... Uh, I'm going to get it set up and rolling. I'm excited about this. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, and I love doing workshops. Love it, love it, love it. So, so that is it for today. Become better. Tweak one little thing in your routine to a more positive focus, and let's see what happens. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.